industry is getting better in terms of opportunities for women. I think that most big media companies, if not running the organizations, the next line of executives are many women hold, you know, president and executive vice president level roles. And ultimately, if there are women feeding the pipeline up into these organizations, and there's greater strength and representation of women, we're solving the problem. I would say for myself personally, I've had such an extraordinary experience at Fox. I've never felt discriminated against because of my gender. I've actually been given just tremendous opportunities and incredible mentors. I've never thought of um, the gender issue at all. I started as a secretary in the business, you know, I didn't go to university, so I literally started at the bottom, made my way up. And actually this business is, is quite egalitarian. Where it becomes more gender obvious is behind the camera. Being a woman from Pakistan and from the Muslim world comes uh, with its own set of challenges. But I have to say, I often say this, uh, that being a woman is my biggest asset. That if I was not a woman, I don't think I'd be able to tell the kind of stories that I do. Um, I'm, you know, just a woman. I'm not threatening at all. So I can get in and out of places. I can ask the difficult questions. I can challenge stereotypes and really stand, you know, front and center in front of the aggressor and ask the difficult questions. And because I'm so non-threatening, um, I get away with it. As a man, would I have been able to do this? I don't think so. Being a woman has been wonderful. And I wouldn't want to come back as a man at all. <laughs> um, Pakistan's greatest strength is its kick-ass women. I would say tomorrow if Pakistan says we're going to be exporting our women as our greatest asset, we do very, very well. But one of the things is to run a, to be a showrunner, to run a show, it absolutely takes the lumps out of you. And it's how to balance the sort of traditional roles that women have with childcare. And as we all grow a little bit older, and certainly in the UK, I don't know if it's the same in the US, taking responsibility for other perhaps more elderly members of the family, with being able to completely involve yourself in your show, in your writing, almost to the exclusion of everything else, and, and be free to do it. Women in charge in dramas, TV dramas in Turkey, yeah. It's not like in Europe or US, we have more uh, women writers uh, in the industry. Uh, maybe 80% uh, of the writers are in Turkey women, yeah. We like dramas a lot and um, I don't know, maybe women are more suitable for this job because they have more patience. Normally when I read a script, um, I look at the, the guy's part and I go, oh, I want to play his part because it's often better. <laughs> this, I wanted to play my part. And I, I just, whether she was called Naomi or Nigel, didn't matter. It was about the individuals. And I think that what this has achieved, um, I'm incredibly proud of, really. Yeah, it's blown me away. There's so many well-developed female characters in television that like, I can personally say that I was looking for something that's, that was of that nature, that I could, you know, uh, develop over 10 episodes or 50, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, exactly. But, uh, you know, I, I was definitely looking for something that I found intriguing and smart and sexy and all these things that I wanted to develop as a character.